We would be honored if you would join us. Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Before I start, if you could give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. This is the way. Hey folks, welcome to the first episode of Power of the Force Fridays for 2024. Um, I don't know why not get into the, uh, the, the New Year party spirit with some dancing. <laughs> um, towards the end of the year, sort of back in November, I did uh, the three Max Rebo Band 3-packs. And uh, after that, I sort of neglected to bring these three figures on um, and got sidetracked with a bunch of other Power of the Force Friday videos. So I thought it was, you know, place and time to, to bring these three in and take a look. Um, you know, in terms of articulation and all that, you know, these aren't the greatest of figures, but, you know, they're, they're, they're a diorama piece more than anything. Um, and they, they work precisely for that. So that's, that's why I have them because, you know, you're going to fill up the palace. Um, the palace that I do not yet have, that Boba's palace set I really want, uh, that came out last year. It's, my plan is to get one of those this year, but, um, yeah, I'm not sure how that's going to go. So in terms of characters, we have Ristau, we have Lin Mi, and we have Griata. So we're going to take a look at them one by one. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just we'll, we'll check them out. Check out these. And if you remember in Return of the Jedi, this is the one that Boba Fett has a little bit of a flirt with. You know, it's... Yeah, it's I like the, the idea that Jabba has these sort of exotic... Exotic dances, you know, entertaining him. He is, you know, essentially a a mafia bob mob boss. So yeah, she's, you know, in terms of the bodysuit, not leaving much to the imagination. She does have like some weird hoofed feet. Now, I can't remember the the name of her species. Um, uh, completely blanking there. You know, the paint detail is really good. Close-up look of her there. And just the way the... All the dots, I don't know if they're coming up, but they're sort of pink and purple. They almost look like they've got a shadow. They almost look like they're sort of three-dimensional bumps there on her chest and up over the shoulders and neck. Um, but yeah, no, it's just clever paint. Nice bright red hair. There's a bit of shading in there. Which is nice. Again, articulation sort of only got the sort of one hand out in front. You know, the swivel there, swivel on the head, and then yeah, swivel on the on the legs and the waist to kind of get him in a bit of a bit of a pose there. Alright, now we get Lin Mi, the Twi'lek. A very cool looking outfit. You know, if they were to redo these figures, I would not hesitate to pick them up. I think they'd be really cool, fully articulated and get them to do, do a lot. But do I think they'll ever do them? I doubt it. I really doubt it. Just doesn't seem like something on modern day Hasbro's agenda, you know, to get, or Lucasfilm for that matter, to get characters like this out there, you know. They, like I said, they are, you know, predominantly display display figures. They are, you know, statues for display in the in the shelf, so. I noticed she's got sort of, she's got some like shoes on, but they're not painted. Maybe they're white shoes. Not that her skin's white. It's almost like a... It was a very faint blue. Like a blue-grey. Maybe it's just my eyes that think that. But yeah, another another cool one. And you're probably my favourite out of the bunch, Griata. She's just got the most detailed, the most sort of exotic being a Rodian. I love the, I love the sort of the Rodian mohawk mullet <laughs> that's going on here. It's 
So yeah, start at the top as a mohawk and then it just goes into this filthy, filthy mullet. There's some shading through the hair there. But yeah, I just love the, uh, you know, the skin texture. And it's, I don't know, I think that's just really, really cool. You know, he's got the sort of the bronze, the bronze sort of shackle jewellery on around the waist. The orange. I'm oh, sorry, there's no there's no green rudy bits there. And there's you know, a bit of a green bum, but <laughs> got the sort of bronze earrings as well. But yeah, I do like this one a lot. Just you know, it's it's another I lo I love the aliens. I love you know the I don't know. It's it's the diversity of the shelf, you know. You know, put a exotic Rodian lady dancer on the shelf with a Twi'lek and I can't remember her species, but Yeah, nice nicely painted again, you know. It's sort of almost all green, but the sort of flashes of sort of yellow over the top that just to highlight the the different shades. And it definitely helps bring out the sculpt a little bit too. So yeah, pretty nice, easy one to bring in the new year, bring in 2024. There's not a great deal going on with these three. You know, like I said, the articulation's limited, but if you've got a Jabba's Palace, firstly, send it to me. Uh, secondly, you've got to have all the dancers, the band. It's one thing to have the palace, and it's another thing to have all the uh, all the attendees, which is really great. I love it. So that being said, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know. Always looking to add requests to my list. And if you are a member, your request gets bumped straight to the top of the queue. And if you're another member that puts in a request, you come into the next next available space. So I also like giving a little giving a little shout out to, to anyone who does put in a request. I just appreciate appreciate everyone's support and input and everything like that. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please please do so. Consider doing so at least. And um, yeah, I'll be back with another episode of Power of the Force Fridays next week. Until then, may the Force be with you always.